be kind to everyone. It costs you very little and takes you very far. I would pass on some advice that was given to me, which is that you have a gem in your pocket that is only yours, and it's the thing that makes you you, and to hold on to it for dear life, and to protect it at all costs. I would tell myself to have patience, and just, you know, if this is what you want to do, then you need to focus and, and do it. And don't look at what other people are doing, just focus on yourself. Everybody has their own path. It's, it's cliche, but it's true. For some people it happens right away, and others not so much, and that's okay. But if this is absolutely, positively what you want to do, then you just have to do it and see it through and don't let anything else get in your head, just do it. Advice is a tricky thing too because there's um, not just one path. I subscribe to uh, something that I, a quote that I believe was uh, attributed to Walter Matthau, who said, all it takes in this business is 40 big breaks. That's kind of, that's, that's sort of how I see it. it it's, there, there isn't just one thing. It has to kind of keep evolving. Don't get married before there's a three in front of your age. Wait till that decade to get married, kids, because you don't know who you are or what you want. I guess the advice I would give is try not to be critical of yourself. It's something I still struggle with, but I feel like if you can embrace the courage to just be, and then, you know, as the cameras go, or as the lights go down at night, then you can sort of go back to all your insecurities. But if you can have faith that what you're offering is something unique, that's the advice I would give. So the advice I would give is, are you willing and ready to turn your life over to your career, regardless of what your career is? Now, certainly in this business, it's, uh, you have to give yourself fully and completely to it and know that all rejection that's waiting to slap you in the face is not to be taken personally. They, get, they go after everyone. The only advice I would give is advice that I was given when I was very young, and that is to persevere. You, you just have to keep, you have to keep showing up. You have to love it, anything in life, but especially this business, because there are more people who want jobs than there are jobs. I don't know why I, you know, it was my destiny to become somebody who is doing it professionally and you know, well into her 50s, but it, you know, I'm grateful for that, but uh, you, have to, you have to really love it. And um, if you don't, just be patient. You'll find the thing that you love, you know, and then that's, that's the thing that you, you, I was gonna say go after, but I don't th think you go after it. There's just kind of a magic that happens. You get picked up by it. Uh, don't just have sex with someone because they bought you dinner. My advice to anybody who's starting is, go see everything you can, go learn everything you can, talk to everyone you can, and get off of your phone. Raccoon eyes is not cute on anybody. Stop, put down the eyeliner. <laughs> it's true. <laughs>